Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. I got some barbecue at a gas station recently. It's kind of like mystery meat. Not bad. But anyway, today I decided, you know, I'm gonna do a review finally on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the legendary Toby Hooper film. Yes, it is awesome. It is an amazing film. You know, you got Gunnar Hansen, Leatherface. You can't go wrong. You spawned a whole franchise. But anyway, um, this is the two disc ultimate edition. And um, yeah. It's, it's also a steel book, which is also pretty cool. Um, my favorite edition I ever owned. But, uh, yeah. But it's kind of like a messed up art film, if you will. Because, uh, when it came out in theaters, it really, um, was like people were walking out of the theater and stuff from what I've read and I always heard people walked out like really quick but it's one of those shock values that just really you know sells tickets at the uh, in uh it's that drive-in grind that we all love you know what I mean it's like you don't go on people's property and if you do you learn you learn a valuable lesson you know <laughs> you don't want to do that in that kind of in like those kind of rural areas trust me but uh yeah this is this is about um, a couple of teens that go to a gas station to get barbecue and um, go check out their uh, granddaddy's place and then you realize um one by one they fall and then you know you got leather face cutting them up getting them ready for the next batch of barbecue <laughs> yeah it's great but it's all based on legendary serial killer Ed Gein who not only spawned inspired Leatherface but also inspired Norman Bates and Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs so uh, it was a really cool movie that was a game changer, if you will. And um, yeah, I really love it. Also, there's a video game now, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's really amazing. And you know, it also has a really annoying character. It goes by the name of Franklin. <laughs> you know, I'm sure the guys, the actor's cool, but like. Th that character was very annoying. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then the hitchhiker. Let's talk about the hitchhiker for a second. I love that hitchhiker. That guy, that guy shows up at horror conventions from time to time. And, uh, he's a really cool dude. Or a really cool character, if you will. And, um, it's, it's like, uh, it's like a drifter like type character. He's like, you you been to the slaughterhouse? Oh, oh, yeah, it's my granddaddy's. Oh, yeah, you gotta get head cheese. They they don't make it like they used to. He's like something like that. He's like, he's like, you gotta use the hammer. He's like, you don't use the air gun. No, no, that gun's no good. You use the hammer. They die quicker. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, the Hitchhiker is one of my favorites. And, um, yeah, it's just amazing. The whole dinner scene with Grandpa. Come on, get Grandpa. Bubba, get Grandpa. Uh, some, like, Leatherface is pretty cool. Like a cool character in himself. He's kind of a slow, a slow, kind of dumb person. That, But, um... He has he wears fit leather skin, 
like leather dead skin masks to hide his um, deformity. But you never see his mask taken off in this, but you see different types of masks. And that, I always found that fascinating. The whole, like, what Toby Hooper was able to do is just awesome. I loved it. Like, I give this, if I was, if I'm going to rate this right now, I'm going to give it four out of four stars. Four total. So, uh, yeah, and my final thoughts are, uh, you know, get some of that barbecue, but beware, it could be a person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but anyways, all seriousness, um, I love this movie. It's just a perfect kind of movie for like a, like a Texas slasher type, you know, wrong turn type movies, you know. But uh, yeah, that's kind of like my final thoughts. Four out of four stars. I definitely recommend it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. I got a lot, a couple more videos coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. I haven't figured out what they are yet, but I will see. Anyway, I'm going to get back to some of this barbecue here. And, um, see you in the next video.